Welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I'm back yet again for yet another NECA Toys Universal Monsters XTMNT video. We got two new offerings, and when I say new, I mean they came out a few months ago, but I finally just found Raphael as the Wolfman. But first and foremost, we have Leonardo as the creature from the Black Lagoon. So good old Lagoon Leo, he looks pretty stellar. And then like I said, finally came across Raphael as the Wolfman. I have no idea why this took so long to find. Every time I went to the store, never found it. Finally found one at Walmart. So on the sides of the box, you'll get to see all the individual Universal monsters mixed with the TMNT that they've released thus far. We're up to nine already. Ready. The backs of the packaging are always my favorite. I love what they're doing here, all the sayings, all the little tidbits. It's fun, it's campy, it's corny, and that's what I like to see with my TMNT X Universal Monster toys. I mean, look how good Leo looks right there. But the best part about all of this is that here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures. So as always, thank you very much for that. You can also see what's included in the box. And then here's the barcode for Lagoon Leonardo. And then if you were wondering for Raphael, yeah, it's gonna be the same exact people. And here's the barcode. And like I said, if you've missed these, they're starting to hit Walmart store shelves now. So keep an eye out. For them. And of course, right before we get going, I will say, as always, if you get a chance to go through a few on the shelf, make sure you open up the box a little bit, the little flappy, inspect it, make sure everything's in there, make sure there's no paint chippage and whatnot, get yourself a good looking version. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the new TMNT X Universal Monsters, Raphael as the Wolfman and Leonardo as the Creature from the Black Lagoon by NECA Toys. So now here's everything out of the packaging as far as Creature from the Black Lagoon Leonardo goes. This one I've had just waiting in the wings on the floor of my office for as many months but I'm very happy to finally look at him. He comes with a bunch of extra hands, all of which are detailed to the nines. The paint is stellar. They've really gone above and beyond for this new Universal Monster TMNT figure. I absolutely love the sculpt of this. Every single hand is perfection. And that's what appeals most to me about these TMNT X Universal Monster figures it's just the attention to detail, it's the fun, it's the corniness of the old Playmates toys, but NECA kind of bringing it into 2024, right? So with these so-called katanas, they're now fishing spears, and they have rope and line all over them, and they're made out of wood, and that's ultimately what I wanna see. I wanna see the corniness really brought out, the emphasis of just combining these two franchises, and I really appreciate how both of these so-called katanas are different, but I absolutely love that they stuck a piranha on one of them. It's not removable, and that's part of this whole Universal Monsters XTMNT fun is just how ridiculous it is, but how much fun it is all to display it in your collections. With this fishing line rope right here, I'm gonna tell you, this is one of those where if for some reason, years and years and years down the road, these are popular, this is what will be missing from those action figures. You have bobs, right, the fishing line bobs, these, uh, will attach to the line, so it'll be very easy with the hook part, but you get two of these, so again, don't lose them, that's important. And then you also get four fishing hooks, of which, yes, those are removable as well. Also, in the packaging, they're in a little baggie that's taped to the side, make sure you don't throw it away accidentally. And above and beyond all else, don't lose any of the parts and pieces here. Like this bone claw clip-on, and that's what I love about this, is that it's in fact a true clip-on piece. You don't see that a lot these days, and just in terms of the overall look and aesthetic, it looks great. Although you're gonna have to heat it up to really clip it onto Leonardo's wrist. You also get a turtle. Now, I would say this, the turtle, the sculpt, the paint, everything looks fine, I totally get it. But I would say, what would be kind of fun is to have a little minion like they used to do, like think of Ray Filet with fish sticks. Have little minions going forward that come with the future Universal Monster X TMAT toys. I think that, that would be kind of interesting and just really cement the whole, we're doing an homage to Playmates, but we can go really wackadoo this time. Now, Leonardo himself, I'll save you some time. This is an amazingly sculpted figure. 
This is gorgeous. This is NECA Toys firing on all cylinders and really combining the creature from the Black Lagoon with Leonardo. And I love what they did with the shell. You have fossils embedded into it. Fish, other creatures, mollusks, everything looks really cool. And then you have the net that's draped over him. Those also have the fishing bobs and the hooks to them. Some are glued on, so be careful not to break anything, rip anything off. The scales, the paint, you have the elements of him being a Ninja Turtle with the elbow pads, the wrist guards and whatnot, but he is full blown creature from the Black Lagoon this time around with the blue face mask and the fish lips. Everything really translates well to this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure. And I think that's what kind of differentiates it between the prior Leonardo offering. And I think a lot of the success here with this figure is really merging the two this time around. It's a monster everyone seems to know, everyone seems to resonate with. The sculpt really reflects that. It seems like they had a blast in designing this. I'm telling you, this is a gorgeous art piece. Even if you're not a TMNT fan, maybe you're just a Universal Monsters fan, yeah, I would say that you would absolutely love to have this because it's so well integrated. Whereas the Hunchback Leonardo wasn't that well received. I personally love it. It reminds me a lot of the shell storage turtles, just the overall look. It's very outside the box. But I could see how people are like, yeah, I don't really get this. I don't understand it. You'll have some articulation in the head and the neck. It's two pieces and you can move around the bandana parts in the back if you so choose. But it kind of just drapes along his chest. The arms, they'll go all the way out. Nothing at the bicep, but he'll spin at the elbow, double jointed elbows, although his elbow pads will get in the way of that articulation. Plenty of momentum at the wrists. The hands swap easy peasy, nothing loose there. Nothing at the waist in terms of a waist swivel or an ab crunch, nothing like that. The legs, he will kick off more to the side. Kicking back, that's not gonna happen because of the shell. Double jointed knees, the knee pads will get in your way. You've got some rocker up, down, left, right, big old clod hopper feet does help him stand rather nicely. So overall, it's a pretty solidly articulated toy. And when you have his really cool play on katanas here, posing him out, having a Leonardo as the creature from the Black Lagoon, like I said, really does succeed in bringing all this fun forward. And to be honest, yes, in terms of the articulation, the poses that you can achieve really lend itself to all the weapons that are in the box with weapon storage being included with the nets. Now it's kind of cumbersome to get them in there, but once they are in there, it looks pretty darn good, along with all his extra hands. Those are what really add to the creepiness factor, allowing him to hold things and really become menacing. The bone claw, like I said, you're gonna have to heat it up it's not my favorite, but I do like that it's a clip-on accessory. It's pretty darn cool, and you can definitely have some fun in posing him out as such. And with the turtle accessory, even though I'd like it to be a little bit more expanded upon next time, really make it a weird, creepy, menacing little turtle minion, that's definitely a cool Leonardo. As such, with the Wolfman Raphael, and again, I can't tell you, finally, I have this figure. I don't know why. Everyone kept telling me, it's at this store. It's so easy to find. Not around California, I'll tell you that. Now, Raphael comes with some closed hands, of which you could say they're punching hands, but I like how they've had to work around the nails. Like, he got his nails did, and they're not exactly full-on fists, but it totally works. You can have his sigh holding hands, and you can hold it in the cool way as he holds it between his knuckles. So, that's cool. That's nice to see. Even though, because of the anatomy of a wolf turtle that's gonna be kind of weird to kind of see these hands but I think they've genuinely done their best here and with the side now these are kind of fun one of them being a bone with a blade and then you have the wrappings to keep the blade in there that's all nicely weathered nicely painted very exciting it's just cool again merging these two wolfman and TMNT Raphael whereas on the other side you see the elements from the wolfman movie in the form of the wolf cane you have the pentagram symbol right there again it's the blade with some bone wrappings everything is painted beautifully but I like the differentiation between the two side along with this wolf trap bear trap, it comes with a real metal chain, has nice weathering all over it, and it's a real working trap. You simply just step on that and boom, it'll snap shut. Well, not exactly gonna snap on you, it's not spring-loaded by any means, but you'll just simply open and close it, and 
it's nice to have a bear trap, wolf trap accessory. I totally dig that. I just was thinking the other day I needed that for a photo and here we are. So you do get an extra head portrait. It's a little bit different. This one more so reflects the artwork on the actual packaging. He has one glowing open yellow eye. The other one's a little bit more shut. A lot more turtle in the face along with the teeth, the red bandana, which you can articulate that if you'd like. You can get it swaying to and fro depending on how you want to pose him out. But Overall, I think that's a great extra additive in the box. And then with the actual action figure, Raphael is the Wolfman. I think that that is another great head portrait. In fact, I'm kind of torn between the two. You can see the differences. I like one in different aspects. I like the other for other aspects. So it's kind of like, well, they've greatly succeeded in both types of head portraits. But I'll say for the time being, I will stick with this head portrait. It's very TMNT, but he has a lot more fur going on. I like the red that they've chosen. You have the nice blend of the fur. Everything looks good. And when you put his head back, it does look like he's howling. So again, that really adds to the whole wolf man nature of it. In terms of comparing him with what they did with Leonardo, I would say Leonardo is designed to all holy heck. It's a great success. This one is going to be more subdued, although yes, it is Wolfman Raphael. I like that they gave him more of the wolf type feet. You can get him crouching down in that position. They've even articulated the toes so you can get him up on those toes if you so choose, but he's very hard to balance. The shell is very furry. I think that that's funny. You have the pentagram burned right in there into his shell, which again, that's a nice touch. Little additives here and there make for a great just accumulation of all these elements mixing together to form a great looking toy. Plenty of articulation in the head. Like I said, you can get him looking up, howling at the moon. You can articulate the bandana. Plenty of articulation in the arms. You'll get them going all the way up. He's got double jointed elbows. Again, the elbow pads will kind of hinder the articulation. You can swap out the hands easy peasy. He does have more of a waist swivel to him, even though there is a shell. The legs, Right here in the crotch piece is a little bit more rubbery, so you can move them out a bit more than Leonardo's. And like I said, you can get him more into that wolf sort of stance by twisting and moving all the different parts of the leg around, getting him up on the toes. Although I would have liked to have seen a more outstretched hand, paw, turtle paw kind of thing when you want to do that pose and get him crouched on the ground. Because more so when you get him in this position, the hands aren't flat on the ground. So that would have been a nice additive to the box just to kind of achieve this whole look just a little bit better. Whereas when you want to pose him standing up ready for battle, all of the sigh, they fit right into his hands. You can get him holding it cool style, normal style. It's your choice, but overall, it looks pretty darn solid. And I will say, while he has plenty of weapon storage, just go easy around the blades. When you start moving the legs around, they will kind of hinder that just a bit. But in bringing up the trap again, I will say that it can make for some great funny photos for all you toy TMNT photographers out there. When you want to see the comparison between what's come before and now where we're at with the Universal Monsters line, I really did love that Raphael, the very first one that they did. I think that that's hands down. It's one of the most beautiful sculpts they've done for this entire line. But I would say that this Wolfman Raphael kind of harkens back and plays into the whole Frankenstein Raph, whereas both of them really succeed in what they've set out to achieve. In terms of the Hunchback Leo to now this Creature from the Black Lagoon Leo, Again, I really enjoyed the Hunchback Leo. A lot of people definitely did not. So I would think that now with this new Leonardo, people might go, okay, that's a lot more Playmates as opposed to NECA doing their own spin. But with this Hunchback Leo, you had the old school shell storage, a great design. Overall, it was a home run for me. And looking at all four Turtle Bros now with these two new additions, Raphael and Leonardo, Michelangelo is still a win. Donatello, I would say he's probably up next for a redo or a different monster take because nothing is better than that Michelangelo. I absolutely love it. And with these two new turtle bros, yeah, I would say Donatello is kind of the odd man out at this point. He needs to be more monstrous. So that will wrap it up for my look at two of the brand new Universal Monsters X TMNT figures. Raphael is the Wolfman and Leonardo as the creature from the Black Lagoon by NECA Toys. They're starting to hit store shelves. They've been hitting store shelves for a while. It's just taken me a while to get here. 
but I absolutely love these. I think they're great additions. And in talking to NECA Toys at Toy Fair last year, yes, they did say that this line will be continuing. So hopefully we'll see some at SCCC or perhaps we will see something more in terms of the fall season. Fingers crossed that we get to that sooner than later, but I'm very excited to see where they will take this line. And I think that, yes, a few more turtles, different designs, Metaluna Mutant, something like that would be much appreciated. But I want to see them tackle the villains now. I want to see them really go to town with that. And I'm curious to know your thoughts as always. Which characters would you like to see them do? So comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Universal Monsters X TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, it's TMNT Overload. Day in and day out. But these are great additions to your TMNT collection. I'll tell you that. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.